Hey everybody, what's going on? This is a PV TG Rax guitar preamp. This is a tube based preamp. This is from 1990. This is PV's first uh, preamp, tube based preamp that they came out with. Uh, after this, they came out with the Rockmaster. So this is just before the, they came out with the Rockmaster. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not sure if it works or not. It's in pretty bad shape. It's been abused. It's got scratches. It's got uh, the wrong screws it looks like on the side over here. Let me show you. See that? Uh, same thing with the other side. But we'll try it out, see if it works. I was told that uh, it makes noises. Uh, I don't know what that means. It could mean that the pots are scratchy. Who knows? Uh, it may just need a cleaning. So we'll try it out. Uh, we'll see if it works. If not, we'll fix it. And uh, we'll have a look inside, and I don't think there's any op amps or anything in here. Uh, it's probably just passive components, just probably resistors and uh, capacitors. All right, guys, before we uh, plug it in and try it out, let's uh, go over what these controls are. So you have a high gain and a low gain, and uh, this high gain is just uh, 6 dBs louder than the, the low gain, okay? Then you have your, your uh, pre-gain here. This is basically the input volume gain uh, and then let's jump over here you have a equalizer bass uh, mid-range and treble this is a passive equalizer okay so your signal the way it flows is it, it goes into the input it goes into a tube stage then it goes through the equalizer section okay and then the input volume uh, it goes into there so it'll go into here your signal goes through here first before it goes through the uh, input gain. Okay. <clears throat> then you also have this uh, brightness switch, which uh, uh, boosts up the treble. And that's part of this stage also. Uh, you have your uh, gain boost right here. That's after the equalizer. Okay. And that just basically provides an overall uh, system gain. Uh, so you have this thick... Uh, button here okay and what that does is that that maximizes the mid-range and low okay so after you push this in these two uh, knobs will have no effect okay so then uh, we come over here and you have your uh, post gain okay this is basically the overall uh, volume of the channel okay so after your uh, post gain it goes into an output equalizer, which is uh, this right here. And the only difference between this and this is that this is an active equalizer. Okay, so these each provide a uh, plus or minus 15 dB uh, gain after uh, this this uh, volume here. And that's about it for this. And then uh, if you look on the back, let me let me turn it around. We have this, okay, and this is basically like a, a three-way toggle switch, okay? It's zero plus minus. So right now it's z it's in zero. So you'd leave it in zero, okay? And uh, if you hear humming or noise on the channel, try it here. If you still hear humming and noise, try it on minus, okay? That's basically what it is, and w what it does is. Uh, when you put it on plus, it adds a capacitor uh, from the hot side to the ground. When you put it on minus, it adds a capacitor from the neutral to the ground. And when you keep it in the middle, there's no capacitors. Uh, and then you have two output levels here. And uh, let's see, this is uh, three volts, it says in one volt. So this. Uh, this basically adds a, a three volt signal level, your, your high level output, okay? And uh, that's basically it. All right, guys, let's try this thing out. I'm gonna plug into the high gain. Okay, turn on the amp and turn this on. Let's see if it works. Nothing yet. Oh, there we go. It's working.
Let's open it up. All right, now we get to mess with these stupid screws. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Wrong screws. Okay, now notice these small screws. Okay, these are the correct size for the front. Okay, this is wrong also. This is too big. Okay, that should be in the back because uh, the, the small ones go in the front. So. But anyway, let's let's take these out. This one's totally wrong, doesn't belong here. This is correct. There we go. All right, guys, just as I suspected, uh, just a bunch of uh, capacitors, resistors, not much going on. Uh, there's diodes here, but that's part of the rectifier. Uh, that's the power. Uh, these are probably there also. Uh, I don't see any other diodes in the signal path or anything like that. So uh, let's see what kind of tubes these are. Ruby tubes. Chinese. They're pretty good though. Ruby tubes are, are pretty decent. Uh, yeah, this thing's filthy. I'm going to have to clean it out. Uh, so the other thing is, uh, these screws here are also wrong. Uh, they should be like that. These actually go in, in here where the ears are. Okay. Uh, they're correct for this unit, but they're in the wrong place. And then they also go here and here. Okay. And then here to hold the ears in place. Uh, these are truss head, uh, sheet metal screws. So I'm going to order, uh, the correct screws for this and, uh, put the right screws in the right places and then uh, other than that I think it just needs a cleaning and uh, the pots need to be cleaned out because I heard some static when I was trying it out So I'll do that and then uh, we'll do a uh, demo of it All right guys, this is so dirty. I decided to uh, Take the board out <clears throat> Now you have to remove these screws here. There's a couple screws on the bottom and then all the nuts have to come off so you can take the board out and then this just moves out of the way and the board comes out like this all right now it's still attached to the transformer so you got to be careful with that and here's the back of it okay that's what it looks like and uh yeah everything looks okay in the back so let's see is there a date 1207 1989 so yeah this this board's from 1989 all right so 
So I got it out now and it'll be easier for me to clean. Uh, I probably use some uh, alcohol because uh, I think blowing it out is not going to work because look at all this dirt. It's all caked in there. It's Blowing it out is not going to work, so I'm going to have to use some uh, alcohol to get that out. So I'll clean this up and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I clean this thing with uh, alcohol. So here's the alcohol, 70%. You could use 90%, and I'm going to use a brush, okay? Now, you got to be very careful because <clears throat> uh, there's Sharpie on here and here. So the alcohol will, will uh, remove the Sharpie. So you got to be very careful because uh, this is, uh, you know, this is vintage equipment, and that's part of the history. So we don't want to ruin that. We don't want to ruin the mojo. So I'm going to carefully... Put the alcohol on here and brush it. All right, let's let that dry and we'll take a closer look. All right, everything's all done. The alcohol has dried and uh, you can see the pots are nice and clean now. Okay, there's no more dirt on here. So everything has been cleaned up and uh, now I'm going to use my uh, electronics cleaner to uh, clean these pots and then I'm going to lube them up with uh, my electronics uh, lube that I have. Uh, if you watch my Jackson preamp video, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to use those same uh, two uh, items to lube all these pots and clean all these pots. All right, guys, that was this stuff here, okay? Now I'm going to lube them up with this stuff because remember that this stuff dries them out, so you have to put some lube in there. So, And you only need a little bit. That's it. Get that in there. <clears throat> And like I said before, the lube takes a while to dry, so you can't really turn this on. You have to wait like five or six hours. All right, guys, I got it all put back together uh, with the correct screws. Uh, these screws here and on this side also and on the rack ears are uh, number 6, 18 thread size, half inch truss head sheet metal screws. And that would be uh, these right here. Okay. Uh, okay, these small head screws right here. And uh, there's a couple on the bottom in the back and then underneath holding in the circuit board. Okay, those are uh, number six, 32, uh, 3 16 pan head Phillips, okay? 
then the screws on the side here this one this one and then there's uh, two up here okay those are number 440 uh quarter inch uh pan head phillips screws okay so that's it so i'm gonna plug this into my marshall and uh try it out the guitar i'm gonna use is my uh friend's bumblebee evh that he brought over for me to fix it had a, a bad case of uh fret sprout took care of that now it's nice and smooth and uh yeah what happens here in the midwest is uh it gets really cold in the winter and the humidity levels drop really low and uh, the wood shrinks so the frets pop out and you gotta file them down so this is what i'm gonna use for the demo 